Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Don't forget to like it if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for more gaming news and uh, videos in general. So, Ubisoft had their annual investors call and CEO Eve Gimo uh, mentioned how Ubisoft needs to release open world games on a regular basis. Uh, and he said, and I quote, we have put to the market nine open world games over the last seven years, including two in 2013. This is by far an unmatched performance. Through those years, we have developed technologies, we have grown the experience of our teams, we have put in place precise processes to ensure efficient collaboration between multiple studios working simultaneously on the same massive maps. This gives us a unique opportunity in the industry to bring open world on a regular basis. Now. Um, it's pretty interesting that he actually says this because if you notice there's sometimes uh, I, I believe I remember people saying things about how uh, Far Cry th I don't know if it was Far Cry 3 and Assassin's Creed 3 there were some similarities in terms of the maps um, I might be completely wrong here <laughs> but um, it's interesting that they mentioned that they'll have multiple studios working on the same massive map so they might also just be talking about how multiple studios within the ubisoft uh, umbrella can work on the same thing so let's say far cry 3 for example uh, there can be studios all across the globe working on the same map um, which is pretty interesting and, and really cool because a lot of times uh, studios uh, w w what they'll do is they'll have one studio working on one game another studio working on another game and while that's great um, the collaborative effort between the two studios would actually probably make for a better game all in all. But the thing that I take away from this is the fact that, now I love Ubisoft, they really put out some really great, really great games, uh, they're always a lot of fun in my opinion. My only problem is they're starting to become more of the yearly releases, and it's sort of like the annual releases of these games, you know, with Assassin's Creed, and they're... I think like open world games in my opinion I just have a hard time accepting the fact that you can release one a year and you know or multiple a year at so uh, you know like in 2013 but you release multiple a year and it's like it seems like such a waste to be able to release a game I mean work for ever on building these huge massive worlds and then kind of throwing it away in a year for a whole nother you know a sequel to the games and I understand that they need to make their money and they want to make money and every year they're paying they're getting people to pay 59.99 you know in the US and more other places uh, to buy their games and prefer what I would prefer is make a big game and maybe every every other year make a sequel to it if you really really absolutely need to um, and fill up the that you know that first year that it's released with uh if you really need to dlc of course we'd all like everything to be free but let's be real um i don't mind paying 15 dollars for a dlc um if it's for a game i already have i, I don't want to have to pay 60 dollars for a game and then i'm loving it and loving it and sure i'll probably put it down by the end of the year obviously but I just want there to be more longevity with all these games, and and with the with the uh, the next gen consoles, there seems to be this this always alive world, and it will seem like a total waste to just throw them away in a year and just create a sequel for it when they could be expanding on the world that exists currently. I just I just hope that we can get to a point where it's not just okay another year another Assassin's Creed another Call of Duty another this. I want it to be a persistent world, not just within the first year of its release, because. There are so many games I want to play. You know what I mean? Watch Dogs is a huge one. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto is coming out in September. Watch Dogs is coming out in November. That only gives me two months to really like play hardcore with Grand Theft Auto. And then Watch Dogs comes out and I want to spend time in that world. And of course they're going to have their DLCs. But it's, it, it ends up being really expensive for the consumer like me. So... Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about Ubisoft talking about uh, bringing open world games on a regular basis. I really believe that open world games should be not so frequent. Like first person shooters, I get it. You walk around with a gun, you shoot, you know, like Call of Duty, that's fine. I understand you do it once a year, whatever. Not like it really needs it, but that's what they do. Open world games are massive, breathing worlds. Expand on it. Yeah, that's what I think. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. That is all for right now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.